In this video I'm going to show you how to use LDAP Filter Builder or LDAP Query Builder. Select a domain and go to the Users tab. Load All Users Report. Click Customize and in the first tab you'll see General Filter Settings. We can see the LDAP Filter Builder right here. There is no LDAP filter applied currently to this report and to apply a filter click on the plus sign which adds LDAP conditions to the current report. Now we're going to go ahead and select the uh, when created attribute, let's say. And let's go ahead and say anything before November 20th, 2009. So is less than. All right. Now let's click save and exit. And let's check our when created column. We loaded all the users created before November 20th, 2009. Let's go ahead and apply a more filter. So let's click back on Customize again. And now let's add users with a display name that begins with, uh, let's say, the letter L. Uh, click Save and Exit, and we load all users with display names beginning with L and created before November 20th. Uh, let's add another condition. Let's add users with passwords last set between... Well, let's start out with password set. And we'll set it between, let's say, November 17th, 2009, And then let's set that to uh, November, uh, November 19th, 2009. Let's click Save and Exit. And there we have our two users. We can see the added LDAP filter at the bottom of the Selected Report Settings window as well. which shows, So it gives you all the details you're going to need. Um, let's go ahead and if you want to check this filter against Active Directory users, let's do something like this. Let's click on Customize there's a little button that switches between the different formats viewing the LDAP filter. Uh, you can click this button and then inside here press control A which means select all and then control C which means copy. Let's go to the users and computers area where you can see that by default we have all our users. So now we're going to go ahead and do a custom filter in here. Uh, let's go ahead and press control P as you saw. We put it in there, run it and there's our two users. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and thank you for using Max PowerSoft's Active Directory Reports. Happy reporting.